it is rapidly closing in on the end of the year and I realize I have not made any thought given given any thought to uh, making uh, a new themes for 2024 uh, instead of New Year's resolutions which are usually just setting yourself up for for failure at least I find for the most part I do have goals monthly goals but they're not resolutions that are like oh I'd like to do, I want to do this during the month here let's try and get this done on this day that kind of stuff I try to organize kind of an overarching idea of what I'm doing in a year around themes. And this is completely taken from Mike Hurley and uh, CPG Gray on their podcast stuff, stuff on their, on their podcast of uh, Cortex. And last year I had the themes of deepening and perspective and deepening was sort of a little bit of a catch all for, okay, I'm going to just, I've selected, you know, categories within, within my life, physical, mental, creative, where I want to get better, uh, or I want to become more healthy. And eh, there, there are ways that this, this happened. There were ways this, that this didn't, I tr did try and focus on these in each, in each month. Some of them, uh, it was a bit of a holding pattern, but you know, sometimes I, especially like I think about physical, that's actually not a bad thing. I didn't slip back significantly. So that was good. Um, perspective was just an interesting way to try and look at the world, try and comport myself in of like, is there something that I can do that's truly kind of outside of myself? Um, a part of that was just Okay, let's read about topics that you don't know anything about that are not uh, directly connected to like, you know, self-improvement or something like that. But, you know, you're you're curious about the world. So getting gaining perspective on the world. Uh, the other component of that was try and wrench yourself away from as much as you can, as much as anyone can, at least, you know, flawed person like myself from kind of selfish attitudes of like, oh, well, how is this going to uh, benefit me and mine? And um, it's not something I did tons of, but there was one or two significant events during the month. I thought, uh, not month, during the year that I thought, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, and that was rewarding in itself. Uh, and I mean that outside of the, I, I, I don't consider myself being a support worker. It's, I don't believe that's a selfless job. I think that's being me doing my job in a uh, compassionate way and trying to be focused on my clients' needs and desires and act, helping them uh, actualize their life. Um, so I guess there is, and I mean, I get a lot of satisfaction from that, you know, when, you know, from that, but I also get paid for that. So it's, it's, it feels slightly muddy there, but those are my two themes for 2024. And I mean, I suppose I could, if I wanted to just simply say, ah, 2020, 2024, my, my, that was my 2023 goals, my not goals. Those were my themes. I could just say, oh, I'm going to continue them. But I think it would be a good idea to probably refresh them and come up with different themes, figure out how to kind of hone things a little bit differently. And I'm not going to come up with them today. And who knows, maybe I won't come up to them. I may try, I may, one of these things, I may just give myself a goal for the end of January to have come up with, um, come up with those themes, this kind of a, wider look it's not like oh uh, i want to get this done it's no like wider general idea what can i get done in this area and uh it makes it more forgiving for myself but it also makes me more flexible uh and it also gives me general guidance versus a specific thing the specific things i'll try and punch out punch out uh, at the beginning, at the uh, at the beginning of a month, and evaluate at the end of the month, and continue along with them. But this is the overarching try and kind of give myself a little bit of a guide for the year. Um, what I did was I first thing you do is you just try and cheat. You just try and say, is there other people who've come up with stuff? Can I copy them, or at least can I take inspiration from them? 
So I googled um, themes, uh, examples of themes from people's uh, Cortex thing, and I did find, I found a Reddit, one of the Reddit things where people were talking about their ideas of themes. And this also kind of gives me a more of a general idea of like, ah, what is that? It's funny, uh, people have like single themes, whereas I had kind of, I had two part, two pronger there. Uh, though the deepening was more specific and the, and the perspective one was a little bit more in the, in the general, maybe too diffuse there. I, I don't know. Um, but here are some of the year ofs. The, there's the year of cohesion, the year of ideal outcomes, year of slowing down, year of reprogramming, year of foundations, year of humanity, year of building, year of targets, year of spinning, kind of like spinning plates, year of understanding, year of redirection, year of courage, year of risk, year of cultivation, year of growing young, year of creativity, and year of moment, of movement. So those are some. Um, I thought of two things. These are just things that kind of rose from that. One was the idea of year of people, which was, do I want to cultivate more of relationships with people outside of my very notional, very narrow social group at the moment, which is Ja and Jackie, and you know all the people I interact with at work. But that's work relationship, which shouldn't really be con confused with. Otherwise, this might also involve waking up early in the morning and thinking about dying alone. <laughs> There's always that, but that was one. And the second idea, uh, the second theme I got. I thing was a year of fun, which was comes out from I had a staycation um, this year in 2023, where we kind of found things to do during the year. And I was I was thinking it's like that was that brought a lot of joy, a lot of interest, a lot of activity into our lives. And it's like that something that if you kind of consciously bring into your life, you could I could really enrich I could really enrich my life greatly from that and not just be a simple kind of grind of uh, get up, do stuff, go to work, 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 and then have my weekends recover, recover, go to work, get up, go to work, get up, go to work. You know, that kind of a grind is to kind of like um, make there's there's an idea there's an idea there to kind of come up with activity um not you know an activity that is not draining but is that is life sustaining that is um that brings you more energy you know so i think you, you ask some people about like you know how can you do so much it's like well if you don't do so much then you you actually feel shittier than if you did actually do if you did if you were actually active uh, and to also, also that would be a, a co thing of that would be to have fun with Ja in there. Um, so that's that's one one aspect that I'm I'm considering. Um, there's also the uh, aspect of some people were talking about how they felt like having a full gigantic year theme was maybe not as useful. Maybe maybe you have that, but you also have seasonal themes of like ah this hunk of the year I can do this. This hunk of the year, I could do that. Um, I have to see how that works for me. I, I may have more of a mono year uh, because I'm I just work full time, and you know I have a little vacations, but I'm not like one of these people who like oh I have school for this part of the year and then I have this, so it's my my living uh, situation changes radically for this part of the year. It's like no, it's it it stays the same. Um, though I guess you could say winter, uh, kind of general winter fall. And then summer, spring, summer could be split into like a duo there. I could do that. All right. I, but that's, I just wanted to stop and sort of have a little chat about that and get that going in my head. Uh, made a little kind of worksheet for 2024 themes and um, I'll be doing my end of the year stuff. I'll go through my goals for, for December. I'll go through my um 
year end kind of thing and year end looking at my themes and just, yeah, this is just the kind of the first start of something where I think what my goal is, and let's write it down to the end of the worksheet is, um, by January something, Ooh, I can even look at my at a glance calendar for January. So like January the 28th, by January 28th, uh, do a, uh, 2024 themes video uh, with those themes. So there, that's, that's, that's a goal versus a theme, but that's like, yeah, okay. Give myself a little deadline there, put it there and yeah, come up with some, come up with some stuff. Cause I, I find it helps to have, have this general thing that you can kind of work towards. Yeah. Yeah. And it gives you some, uh, if you have a general thing to work towards, then you can kind of build out the actual activities that's going to, that, that will involve. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.